The Green Hydrogen Commissioner, James Manupe, speaking at Valpas Bay, said the rail connection would need a coordinated, integrated strategic business plan from Transnamup and Namport. This ambitious industrialization agenda, he said, required the mobilization of resources to fund public infrastructure enablers and the engagement of private companies to take advantage of investable opportunities. He further says the realization of the agenda would require the delivery of a handful of priority pieces of infrastructure to enhance access to neighboring markets and beyond. He added that a short list of prioritized target industries have been identified that can spearhead the attraction of modern, value-adding, employment-generating industries. Last year, the president, the late president Hage G. Bengo, was invited to form something called a CRM club with the president of the European Union. And the idea was that Namibia would start collaborating with her neighbors, whether it's DRC, Zambia, South Africa, Zimbabwe, to start adding value to their minerals, whether it's cobalt, copper, manganese, lithium, uh, of course, rare earth elements in Namibia, to start adding value to those elements with clean energy that will be produced here in Namibia. Post adding value to those minerals, we wanted to transport them to the world, a world that has now begun to discern on the products that we will be exporting based on their carbon content. He further added that green industrialization can establish a new growth trajectory by addressing Namibia's current structural challenges. It will deliver high-skilled jobs, increase productivity, create new markets, attract FDI and position Namibia as a climate leader. Where you had a hub in Namibia that was receiving not just copper ingots, which is currently what we receive from Zambia, but battery precursors that will be made in a plant in DRC in Zambia with the collaboration of those two countries, the United States and others. And those battery precursors would travel on a train through that 1,100 kilometer rail on a dual fuel green hydrogen train that will be built by CMB Tech and Transnamib. He says international cell producers are invited to set up locally while incubating local firms for module assembly.